Well, welcome to Morning Prayer and thank you for joining with me on Monday the 7th of December. Here we are in the season of Advent, waiting for the Lord's coming. Um, so let's begin this service together. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence that we may behold your power and glory. And a prayer of thanksgiving. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night as we look for your coming among us this day. Open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. And the psalm this morning is Psalm 30, Psalm 30. Um, so if you want to find Psalm 30 in your Bibles, whilst I try and find it in my prayer book, there it is. Psalm 30. The refrain, you brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have raised me up and have not let my foes triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you have healed me. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks to his holy name. For his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity I said I shall never be moved. You, Lord, of your goodness, have made my hill so strong. Then you hid your face from me, and I was utterly dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried. To the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put my, off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. Lord, you hide your face when we trust in ourselves. Strip us of a false security and reclothe us in your praise that we may know you as the one who raises us from the dead as you raised your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And the Bible reading is from 1 uh, Thessalonians. I've been there, I've been to Thessalonia many years ago. Uh, so in this time of Advent, this is a lovely, lovely letter, the first verse, first chapter uh, from Paul. Uh, to the church at Thessalonia, and uh, it's really, it, it's an encouraging letter uh, from Paul to us as a church. So shall we read it together? It, so it's 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, down to, uh, from verse 1 to verse 10. Paul, Silas and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. We always thank God for all of you mentioning you in our prayers. 
we continually remember before our God and Father your work produced by faith, your labour prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, he's writing this letter to us. For we know, brothers loved by God, that he has chosen you. Because our gospel came to you, not simply with words, but also with power, with the Holy Spirit and with deep conviction. You know how we lived among you for your sake. You became imitators of us and of the Lord. In spite of severe suffering, you welcomed the message with the joy given by the Holy Spirit. And so you became a model to all, the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. The Lord's message rang out from you. Not only in Macedonia and Achaia, your faith in God has become known everywhere. Therefore, we do not need to say anything about it, for they themselves report what kind of reception you gave us. They tell how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the coming wrath. So that verse there, and to wait for his Son from heaven. And that's what we're doing now in the season of Advent, waiting and watching and praying. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So we now pray the uh, Benedictus, uh, the Song of Zechariah. And... Uh, find it here it is and the refrain is look towards the east O Jerusalem and see the glory that is coming from God it's good to remember that verse look towards the east O Jerusalem when we walk down to church just look out of the grave the yard look to the east Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands that all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our lives. And this child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, and you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and to guide our feet into the way of peace. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. Like Isaiah said, like John the Baptist said, Go before the Lord to prepare his way. And that's what we're doing. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Come to our time of intercession, our prayers. I say it every time, you know what you need to pray for, as I do. So shall we pray? And Father, we bring before you all those that we know, love and care for that uh, perhaps are struggling at this time, whether it be in body, mind or spirit. And we pray, Lord, that uh, you would reveal yourself to them through the power of your Holy Spirit, that your peace would rest upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our church here in Carvley as we're in this season of Advent, as we prepare many things, Lord, for your arrival. 
that you would bless us and protect us, watch over us, and give us that sense of anticipation, Lord, of your arriving, of your being among us, Emmanuel, God with us, God walking with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our two schools, Lord, at this time. Pray your protection upon them. Pray your protection upon this community and the surrounding areas. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we give you thanks, Lord, for this vaccine that's been delivered to uh, the United Kingdom, Lord, and is going out to other countries, Lord. We thank you for that gift and that it will be uh, a help to, uh, to for us all, Lord, at this time. Uh, but we don't uh, take our eyes from you. We don't take our eyes from you, Father. Yeah, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the collect for today. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son Jesus Christ came to us in great humility, that on the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord come, may the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining with me and I'll see you next time.